Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. So today we're going to do an experiment, an experiment about friction. But before we, we are doing our experiment today, I would like you to think first about the experiment plan. How will you do this experiment? Uh, here I have the experiment plan, so you can use this to, to help you think of how the experiment will be done. I would like you to, to look at part A, which is the experiment questions. Do you know what is the experiment questions that we need to answer here so we are doing this experiment? You know when scientists doing an experiment, they have a questions to answer. In this experiment, what do you think the question is? Which material makes the biggest friction? Which material makes the biggest friction? That's it. That is the questions that we want to answer. So we will test out some materials that you have brought today. What is the material? Uh, what else? This pink that I have. Wool. Is it the same? No. It's different. Okay. So we have five different materials, different ropes that we need to test out today. The experiment question is which materials makes the biggest frictions? Write it down there. From the five materials that we're going to test out today, which material do you think has the biggest friction? When you make your own predictions, don't be afraid to get wrong. Yeah, it's normal. Even scientists' predictions could be wrong. Why do you think? Jadi saat kita buat, when you make a prediction, you need to put the reasons why you say that. Why do you predict that prediction? Do you agree with Gaya that this will make the biggest friction? Yes? Uh, because that's the most rough rope. That's a good reason because this is the most rough rope. Karena ini paling kasar. You know that friction atau gesekan itu semakin besar jika permukaannya makin kasar. Tali yang paling kasar akan menghasilkan friction yang paling besar. Jadi prediction itu adalah jawaban dari pertanyaan yang A. Pertanyaan yang A kan mana tali yang paling besar friction-nya? Kamu jawab tali rafia. Because tali rafia paling kasar. Easy. Next part C. Materials tested. How many materials will we test today? Five. Silakan tulis apa saja. Now is number D or part D. Experiment method. In this part, you're going to write down how will you do the experiment the method of doing this experiment or the steps of how will you do the experiment anybody can explain so we tighten a rope uh, between these two uh, pillars in our classroom and then we put our miniature rocket balloon in the straw and insert the straw through the, the ends of this rope so we put it here yeah this goes in and then the balloon is here, so when the balloon blows its air out, it will act like a rocket and launch. So the way we test the amount of friction is how long does the balloon travel on the rope. Yeah. Semakin besar friksionnya, ya roket balon ini nggak akan bisa bergerak dia. Jadi paling setengah sudah berhenti, apalagi pakai ini nanti kamu. Semakin dia halus atau kecil friksionnya, semakin jauh bisa. Jadi nanti kamu datanya akan kamu urutkan mana yang paling besar friksinya dari besar ke kecil. Part F conclusion. Situ kamu tulis kesimpulannya apa? Kesimpulan itu jawaban dari pertanyaan bagian A. Pertanyaan bagian A kan begini. Material yang mana yang paling besar friksinya? Jawab aja di situ sesuai hasil eksperimen. Are you ready for doing the experiment?
Okay, so we have done the experiment and you have get the data already. Yes. I want to ask you questions. Did your prediction meet the results? I mean, is your prediction similar with the results? No, it wasn't. What was your prediction? My prediction was the raffia rope would have the would make the most friction. But actually it wasn't. It was the cotton uh, do you have any idea why this could happen? I don't know. Anybody has idea? But it's smoother, right? It's smoother. It's okay, that's that's experiment. When you do an experiment, you must be ready that your prediction goes wrong. Do you think you did any error or you did any mistakes that can affect your experiment? Yes. What kind of mistake is, is that? blew the balloon too big so it becomes a little heavy so when we launch it it bounces left and right when you were doing this with tali rafia and when you were doing this with cartoon did you use the same size of balloon or different yes, yes. how did you make sure that the balloon has the same size okay you use the ruler to measure the diameter of the balloon that's good i saw you did like put the balloon here like that yeah. that was your method yeah good coba urutkan dari yang paling besar frictionnya ke paling kecil benang cotton dan wool berarti yang paling besar gesekannya adalah benang nomor 2 cotton wool berarti wool yang paling kecil gesekannya dari mana kamu tahu Wall ini 58 cm artinya dia pendek jalannya. Yeah. Kalau dia pendek berarti dia friksinya besar apa kecil? Besar. Besar. Berarti yang paling besar friksinya? Wall. Wall. Yeah. Nomor dua adalah katun. Terakhir adalah benang. Semakin jauh dia bergerak, artinya dia semakin kecil friksinya. Dan semakin pendek dia bergerak, friksinya semakin besar. Any question? Silakan dikumpul. Yang memiliki gesekan yang paling besar adalah kartun. 